Miss Illusion. My apologies. You are correct. And that was not my intention, but... Paraplexis? That means... No neuromods. The body would reject them. Why... Why would Transtar have allowed you on this station? They did not know at the time. But everyone is screaming. And welcome back to Prey, guys. I was listening feverishly there to see if they were going to say something interesting. But uh, we have already heard that. Now, uh, we've pretty much finished all of our... Um, that's strange. Did we not do all of this? We've pretty much... Uh, finished all of our quests now. Uh, at least most of them. Let's just have a little look and see what's on the agenda. I know. Quite. I know we've got to sort out. Oh, yeah. We could just got more stuff here to load in. Did we not push the button? I am confused. Oh, well. Um, I guess. Whoa, that was weird. I uh, what the fuck? This is a really annoying system. Just that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um. Pretty much finished all of our quests. Really? Did we not make loads and loads of ammo and stuff? Did that not get saved? Well, that's irritating. Eh. Okay. Well, we'll leave that for now then. Right, now, do we have, um, that, who's December, Daniel Shoot? yeah, so okay, all of that's saved, that's a bit weird why the game didn't save properly, considering I've been making extra sure to save it when we leave, ha, huh. never mind, we shall create more goodies, oh sweet merciful Jesus, oh that's so satisfying. Right, give me your goodies. And with that, we shall create some shotgun shells again. Because uh, I'm still adamant that the shotgun is pretty much the only good weapon in the game. Um, the Q-beam gun seems okay. I mean, it's certainly nothing to write home about. But it, uh, it does the job, shall we say. We also haven't been to the bridge yet. Which we may... Uh, Made it. Guys, seriously, can I get some silence around here? Jeez, I remember when this office was mine. My god. I wouldn't mind if you... What are you doing? Pushing me out of the way. You dickhead. Like, see it, mate. Personal space? Morgan. There, you deserved that. You deserved that, and you know you did. Jesus. You didn't die, did you? No, good. <laughs> Whoops. I I didn't actually think he would react. Um, although I'm kind of glad he did, because it was funny. Whoa, look at all the resources we have. We have so many resources. Which means we get to have so many shotgun shells. Uh, what else do we possibly need? Um, how many shells have we got? We've got f Let's just go for like straight up 200. Nah, that seems a bit excessive. Just get another couple of packs. Under mm -hmm. and... Go for a cigarette Sorry. right now. You smoke? Well, no. But now it felt like... Actually, let's time. try something here. I'll keep an eye out for a pack. If I if save... keeps your fingers from twitching like that. Oh. There we go. And then, th oh, and we can loot them. And we have peace once more. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And we got some useless crap from those. We got loads of yeah neuromods. Can break that down. Um, you know we probably could. Anti rads, we're fine. Uh, we're pr oh yeah, alcohol. We don't really need the alcohol, do we? We've got the gin. Do start. Well, we do need to start being a little bit more aggressive with what we get rid of. Um, 
sparkling wine. Oh, is that the king stuff? Because we did want to keep one stack. Uh, in case there's an... Oh, we've got the moonshine there. The vodka. We don't really need that split into two. That's like... It's not necessary. Um... Yeah, because we've got the bourbon. I mean, we can keep the bourbon. So that's fine. We've got 17 of that, in which case we can get rid of all other alcohol. Duck beer can go. Nope, that is not beer, game. That is beer. Um, and again, I'll apologise for all of the glitching sounds that... Uh, do show up on these uh, inventory screens. I don't know why it does that. It's a very annoying bug. Um, you know what? I'm not a fan of that stuff myself, but I guess we shall keep it because you never know. Um, jellied eels. Oof. Packet cookies, spare parts. Psy hypnos. I'm actually tempted to cut those down some more but we'll keep them for now they seem to pretty much indefinitely stack so that's fine all right well that will do that'll do donkey that'll do all right let's get out of here now we've got loads of shotgun shells let's go back to the arbitorium and with that, let's check the bridge. I do have a feeling that we might have to go to the bridge at some point anyway. But uh, I'm sure there's going to be cool loot in there. And if nothing else, there'll be enemies. So, it's all good. Can we... Can we... There we go. Wonderful, Morgan. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. The Arbitorium. I'm drinking tea today. You know, I haven't had a cup of tea in years. Well, okay, that's a lie. In months, it's uh, kind of strange. It feels refreshing. Hmm. Get used to that. I got spoilt by so many different uh, types of coffee. Now, uh, yeah, again, this weird thing. Look, I am holding forwards, but we're not going forwards. It seems to be when we come out of the elevator. If I release W and then push W again, it's fine. That's, um, you know, it, it's not a big deal, but it's kind of a bit weird, really. Never mind. Now, let's go take our shotgun for a walk. Hopefully, we'll find a nightmare. Nightmares are always fun, because uh, uh, they give you so many resources. But we've definitely got enough uh, resources for the rest of the game, I, I would say, you know. Um, although I don't know how long's left on the game, but I would say we're probably set up really well because we don't need neuromods, really. We don't need weapon upgrade kits. As a um, reminder, all so yeah, must everything's gravy. In fact, talking of neuromods, is there actually something? We've got five. Oh yeah, we were saving for pulverize. Attacking with a wrench has a 25% chance to do bonus damage. Yeah. It's pretty shit, to be fair. A 25%... What the hell? A 25% chance to do extra damage. That's a bit shit. These turrets are all good. Ooh. We've got something looking at us over here. Ooh, it is a nightmare as well. Hey, buddy. You know, we don't need our turrets to look out for us this time. We have lots of shells, lots of skills. And if you're the biggest threat around these parts, then we don't really have much to worry about, do we? Um, now, the bridge. The bridge. Uh, experimental plants, we've seen those. I do like those nightmares. They're cool. The kind of... Ah, that's Alex's office. Which we kind of need to go to, but I think we're going to go visit the bridge first. We didn't even take any damage there. Um, I don't even know where to put this thing, to be honest. Probably nowhere we can put this that would be very useful. Let's just stick it there. Yeah, there we are. Right, the bridge. Let's have a look. 
seems to be uh, a fairly useful area, or at least I would think it's a fairly useful area. Oh, did we come down here at one point? Possibly. Right, well... If this is its whole uh, unique area, which it kind of looks like it is, I'm assuming we would have to come here eventually anyway. But let's scope it out. I'm hoping there's going to be a lot of uh, valuable loot. Well, well. Ooh. Have a bit of a drink. This place looks quite fancy. A greater mimic. Are you serious? Come on, little pal. Let's do this. You and me, my friend. You have no chance. I just think I'd better level with you and be honest. You had a shotgun shell for me. Thank you. And there's a Typhon corpse. What's this? Ooh, hello. Ooh. I can hear more mimics, though. Let's go flush this one out. Where are you? There you are. I was going to say, I could hear you, buddy. You're a greater mimic. Yes, you are. Well, that's okay. Prepare to be wrenched. There we go. Fix you up nice and proper. Um, yeah, I guess we could... I mean, we've got a lot of spare parts, I suppose. Sure, why not? Let's get, like, a little defensible turret going on. Um, shotgun shells, suit repair, silence, pistol, ammo, fabrication, and a 9 millimeter bullet, sure. Um, I don't know if I like you being there. Um, I'm sure it's fine. Although it might be better. Come here, you. Let's put you back here. Because I don't think enemies will spawn coming out of here. So if we put you there. Deploying. In theory. I can't imagine how you can be destroyed whilst we're not here. And what we are also going to do. I'm going to get rid of this. Because this is blocking your kill zone. Better. Uh, and then we just get rid of you. There we go. Right, that should give you a decent field of vision there. Uh, yeah, there we go. I mean, you do kind of have that blocking your way, but you should be fine. You should be fine. Now, let's go under here. What do we have? Hello? Anybody home? Um, maybe, I guess. Anybody at all? Apart from a load of insulated pipes. Ooh. That looks important. I have no idea if it actually is important, but it looks important. Uh, come on, there we go. Yeah, this place looks uh, a little bit quieter than I thought. I think we've gone full circle. Game, and I appreciate you're trying to do the scary ambience, but uh, it's not really doing anything for me, to be honest. Yeah, that's where we came in, no? It's not where we came in. <laughs> That's where we came in. Cool. So, yeah, this is full circle. I gotcha. Alright. You tell him to move it, dick. I'll be with you momentarily. Ooh. Oh. An engineer. One that hasn't gone spammy. Well, that's useful, I guess. Well, considering this is the bridge, it's not looking very bridgy. Ah, ah, there we go. That's a little bit more bridgy. Or how I would assume a bridge to look anyway. Hey, Mr. Engineer, can you patch me up a little bit, please? Just a quick one. 
Cheers, boss. Muchly appreciated. Eh. Uh, okay. Can I not, like, smash my way in? Um. Honestly, I probably could, but let's not worry about that. Oh, well, here we are. Briefing room. Hello, Mr. Vaulty. Have some shotgun. It's free of charge. Just because I like your face so much. Oh, got a little mimic over here. Hey, pal. Any more for any more. Error. Power still in cooldown. Well, that's good. I wasn't trying to use it. What the hell is going on here? There's my alcohol. Ooh, was someone alive here? Possible, I guess. All right, well, it looks like someone... Well, she uh, Well, she was trying to survive, I guess. Wrench critical, double plus. We'll have to have a look at that. Mind. All right, let's have a little read of this. After the space race, now the space travel was a reality. Uh, the new. Uh, I don't. Is that someone at the door? I don't know. Uh, now that the space race was a reality, the. Oh, now that space travel was a reality, the new challenge just becomes. Uh, how to recoup beyond simple military and science gains. And two, fighting the argument that both groups were ill-equipped to do so. For corporations, the value of space travel was in the acquisition of real estate in what amounted to international waters, especially uh, what laws govern such inter uh, territorial claims? This allowed for an ethical loosening of constraints, as well as added security in both cons uh, containing accidents and the messaging of accidents on space station laboratories. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. That was really weird. I, I completely lost my track there. I think someone was knocking on the door, but I'm not sure. Um, right. Okay. Drinks are empty, water. So these guys suffocated, which uh, was not very nice, to be fair. Um, I guess that really does suck to be them. But at the same time, you know, suffocation gets a bad rap. I'm, I'm pretty sure there were much worse ways that they could have gone in this place that we've seen. Uh, weapon upgrade, Neuromod. Oh, nice. You know what? We probably have enough Neuromods now to get the Pulverize ability. In fact, I would say we definitely do. Although I hate to say definitely. Yep. There we go. So, Engineer is maxed. Uh, I mean, I guess... Start working on that stuff now. Oh yeah, and we got an upgrade to our weapons, didn't we? What uh, what weapon? I think that's literally the only weapon we've got left to upgrade. That's definitely done. The handgun was done. Yeah, so it's just the glue gun now. Um, incapacitation rate, I suppose. Yeah. Why not? Doesn't really matter with the glue gun, because we don't really use it like that. Get that out of the inventory and into the gun. There we go. Ah, hey, Volty. What you doing? Uh, you're not doing a very good job in running this place, I'll be honest. In fact, I would say things have gone tits up since you've taken over. If I may be so bold. Well, we have access... 
Oh, that's quite interesting. I guess we've kind of explored this place a little bit back to front. Yeah, see, this is why... I didn't want to smash this glass, because I thought it might be some kind of... Uh, hollow lens type thing. Interesting. Okay. Well, I can hear more mimics. I can't see any, though. Oh. Right, so what's in the center here? Uh, LG power. Camera orbit. Forward. Pause. Reverse. Okay. Elevation. Executive level. R&D level. Engineering level. Ha! Huh, that's quite cool. Um, yeah, cool, I guess, I suppose. Power off. Power on. I do like the way that kind of draws in. It's really nice. Well, we'll leave the power on for now. Um, right. We still don't know what these redeployers are. They're literally everywhere. New people. Um... I pray there's no new folks in Psychotronics as part of the Earthside rotation. Ugh. I can't wait for the new hires. And wipe that smile off your face. I know you're smirking. Agreed. And I still can't believe you agreed to that extra Neuromod knowing how creepy those psychos are. But worse, their lack of personality is contagious. Even Morgan's got glassy eyes now. Hasn't smiled or made a joke in what? A month? A year? Huh. Yeah. Station monitoring power plant. Navigation. Navigation? Life support monitors. Oh, hello. Briefing room. Well, we've already got uh, in there, so that's fine. Okay, well, I think that's this place uh, searched, apart from what's over here. Oh, hello. Oh. Friend, you in there, man? What's wrong with these pods? I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It's your job to know, damn it. You inspected them, right? Yes. Then why the hell is the launch sequence doing jack shit? I don't know, Drew. I'm sorry. What about your pod? Open up! I... I can't do that. What are you talking about? Bolts in the outside hatch misfired. We're stuck in the launch tube. Ugh. You didn't wait for anyone else, you son of a uh. bitch! I hope you starved to death in there! <laughs> well... Things got a little bit crazy, didn't they? Well, that was worth picking up. Alright, what have we got? Yeah, where are you? Hello, Penny. The operator I sent you is cycling now. Unable to locate you. Is there something wrong with your tracking bracelet? Did you leave Talos? Lol. Uh, I heard there was an accident down in the cargo bay. I hope you're okay. Let me know when you get this. Thanks. Um... Hi, Peter. At last, I have a free day to take the solar energy readings from around Talos to validate the shielding efficiency. Uh, I'll be all over the place for the next 24 hours and will post my litinary below. Um, please let me know if you will be running any particle process since it may uh, influence my readings. Thanks. Hello, Penny. Are we running? Uh, we are running a variety of processes that may influence your data. I believe your litinary. Oh, I have your litinary. So I will dispatch a science operator with some tools to help you get clean readings. Keep a lookout for it. Good luck. Hey, everybody. I talked to Captain Marks, and she agreed to give us a half an hour at the end of shift tomorrow to celebrate Azumi's birthday. Half an hour? Jesus. If you bring a present, put it under the small table in the briefing room. We'll all head there 
I head in there under the guise of a meeting and surprise her with a toast and presents. I'm going to pester Will for a real cake. Fingers crossed. Remember, it's a surprise. Well, she seems like a pretty good person in charge. Right, now, under the small table, you say, in the briefing room. Yeah. Well... I guess they didn't get very far with the party. I mean, there's no presents there. Unless there's another table that I'm not seeing. Which I kind of doubt it. Never mind. Let's go. Oop. Let's go upstairs to the observation deck and Captain's Loft. Ooh. Alright. Gun at the ready. Whoa. Hello. Excuse me. Can you fuck off? I'm trying to admire the place. Captain's Loft, eh? Look at this. This is some swanky digs. Reactivator. Let's have a look at that. Oh, we got a couple of chipsets, actually, didn't we? Um... So we've got the wrench critical, which increases the critical chance when attacking with the wrench. Could be useful, I suppose. Yeah, it's probably going to be more useful than that. What's the reactivator? Decreases the cooldown time on psi powers. Yeah, also useful, I guess. Resistance to psycho shock. Slowly regenerates psi over time. Allows detection of him. Yeah, decreases. Let's get rid of that. Uh, I don't know what Psycho Shock is, though. And that. We shall have that installed. And that. Oh, we've already got that. That is the same one, right? Okay. Alright, in that case, we will have the. Where is it? Telepathic powers, energy powers, all psi attacks. I don't know. It's not really an energy power or a tele uh, telepathy power, is it? Um, cooldown time of psi powers. We've already got that one in. Um, slowly regenerate psi over time. Greater ion, hidden mimics and greater mimics. We've already got that one, haven't we? Yeah, that one's already in. Boost the amount of damage done by electric stats. When the psi meter is empty, pack yeah, health. Decrease the amount of time needed to complete a scan. Hidden mimics. We don't really need that one installed if we've already got. Um, where is it? Greater, yeah. Yeah, we've already got that one installed, so in that case, sure, just use that, it's fine. Uh, what have you got for me, sir? Briefing room key. Lots of you had the briefing room key. Bit of a rip in the carpet there, buddy. Flight log. Yeah, you've got plenty of hooch in here, mate. I suppose that makes sense. Ooh, damn. She went down in a hail of bullets. Jada Mark's cabin. I, I got an SOS from a Kirk Remmer. I was gonna route him to security, but we got cut off. He said he was at the escape pods in life support. So call chief show up in deep storage. I'm not a network engineer. You're his supervisor? Lady, do you people even know what is happening down here? One of my cargo bays is blown wide open, and I've got multiple MIAs. Please tell me there's a medical team on the way. I'm sorry, I don't know, but I can relay your message to Dr. DeVries and- Christ, I've gotta go. <laughs> where's Kirk? What? Okay, where's Kirk? Find Kirk from the life support, okay. Right, what have we got here? Earth, um, prepared by Scott Parker, flight engineer. 
Blah, blah, blah. Captain Tom Cooper. Earth liftoff was at 1900 hours. Conditions nominal. Pre check uh, certified. Four executive passengers. Blah, blah, blah. Flight was uneventful until 1133 when radar. Um, detected an unidentified shuttle approximately 30 degrees off our flight path. Yeah, there's a lot of outside noise. Neighbors are going crazy again. Uh, its drift and rotation indicate malfunctioning maneuvering thrusters. There was no answer to the radio calls. Captain Cooper ordered a course alignment to bring us alongside. As we... Uh, maneuvered within 60,000 kilometers, a second shuttle appeared on radar in the vicinity of the drifting vessel. The transponder identifies it as a military vessel. We received radio message to resume our original heading immediately. Captain Cooper asked if assistance was required and the order from the military shuttle was repeated. All highly unusual, but then it got really strange. The captain spotted it at first. There was a facility out there, and it was running uh, absolutely dark. No lights, radar, uh, transparent. We were too far to see any details, but it was big. Cooper snapped into action, uh, punched in a course to Talus, and fired the engines. We moved out as quickly as possible. Our passengers were clueless to the entire encounter. Our arrival at Talos went smoothly, and the passengers and cargo were delivered safely. So, there's something more going on out there. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. What have we got here? PA system. Station-wide announcements are pre-recorded and played according to a regularly scheduled rotation. We can actually turn them off. Oh, lovely. Uh, evacuation announcement. Emergency evacuation message cannot be triggered without authorization from Alex Yu. Right. So, well, we can do that at a later date, I guess. So, we picked up another mission. Oh, this just leads back out here. So, the bridge is quite a small little area. Escape pods are down here. Let's have a little look, shall we? I'm wondering if anyone's still alive. Well, doesn't look like it. Aggressor amp. What do you have for me, Cothran? Chief, yeah, so I checked that flight plan for the volunteer shuttle like you requested. You're right, it went dark for 12 minutes before it resumed a path towards Earth, but at a slightly different trajectory than before. It's almost unnoticeable, like it left from a different part of the station, or changed its flight pattern around Talos. 12 minutes? What about the other shuttles? It's only the volunteer shuttles, but it's all of them. They go dark 8 to 10 minutes after leaving the station, then suddenly reappear. Hmm. The VIP shuttles don't show the same... irregularity. Got it. Don't talk to anyone about this. About what, Chief? Exactly. Good work, Matt. Elazara. That's rather strange. <laughs> Morgan, you. Oh. <coughs> Hello. We are over now. Oh. You son of a bitch. Nice try. That I did not expect. Well, he's got a lot of organic material in him, I guess. Well. Couldn't have happened to a better chap. I did not see that coming. I thought that would be a little bit grandier. Um, I thought we might actually have to battle him or something. But he just commits suicide. Huh. Okay. That was actually really anticlimactic, I guess. Really anticlimactic. Huh. I wonder when we'd run into him. Oh, well, that's this place checked out. Maybe think down here. No. He recycled himself into a hell of a lot of stuff. 
That was quite funny. Alright, well, let's get out of it. So, ooh, medkit. Don't mind if I do. Alright, well, we have a Mr. Kirk to find. Which I guess what we could do is... I did see a little security terminal here somewhere. Where was it? Wasn't there. Did we read that one? We did. Where was the security terminal? I know there was one here. There we go. Uh, utilities. Area map. We'll have it. Not that the area map is very big, but uh, we'll still have it. Right. So, we are looking for uh, some Mr. Kirk. Good evening, Talos. Dinner is served in the cafeteria from 6 to 8 p.m. I thought we turned that off. Uh, we did? How do we complete that? Who is it we're looking for? Uh, objectives. We really are running out. Where's Kirk? Um... Find Kirk Rammer. Based on some message I ever heard, a crew member named Kirk Rammer may be in trouble. If I can find him, I may be able to help. Yes! Okay, well, I'm pretty sure he's probably dead. Kirk. I wish we could just search. Kirk. Or even if you could just search people that are still alive. I'm sure it was life support. There's no Kirk there. Kirk. No Kirk there. No Kirk. Nope. Come on. Ah. No life signs. Well, we might be able to find some stuff on his corpse, I guess. Okay, so, Kirk. Yeah, every time we go to do these, like some main story quests, we find... Ha, huh. we find uh, more side quests. And you know what? I'm absolutely fine with that because the side quests are great. They're a lot of fun. So, I don't mind. In fact, as I said in previous videos, I'm going to be slightly disappointed when this game ends. However, I do have a good, interesting game to uh, take over from this one. Which I'm going to look forward to. Uh, it's a game that I've been asked to play. I'm looking forward to it. But I'm not sure if I'm going to enjoy it. Because of the type of game it is. Right, multiple objectives that away. Alright, Mr. Kirky. Where are you? I wonder if he's going to be wearing a red coat. That would be quite funny. If he's just dead. Well, I'm guessing he is going to be dead because uh, the tracking collar uh, is detecting no life signs. So, yeah. Hopefully, he died in a hilarious manner. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Right. Let's go. We've got plenty of materials. Actually, talking about plenty of materials. We probably need to visit a recycler and we could use some food. There we go. That'll do for now. 
Let's regen some of that health. Alright. So, Mr. Kirk, what happened to thee? This is a bloody long way down. Ooh! Looks like there's some uh, interesting badnecks in the lobby there. Well, I'm sure we will get to them in time. Uh, yeah, again, no forward motion. There we go. I did think my keyboard was, like, on the frets. I was like, oh my god, not my new keyboard. But, well, it's technically not that new anymore, I suppose. But, no, it's just this game. Can confirm. Come on, game. Come on. I really want to find out what happened to Mr. Kirk. Also, you got the December thing as well. Hmm. Oh. Got a phantom. Hello, Mr. Phantom. What you doing? You can try and run and hide all you like, son. You are done. Oh, maybe you're not done. Well played, sir. Well played. You're a greedy little bugger. Took way more cartridges than you deserved. Hello, are you uh. here for an appointment? Yeah, sure. Do me up, Doc. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing affordable medical injuries. This won't take long. Now, Mr. Kirk. Hang on. Is this not life support? That's the lobby. Where is Mr. Kirk? Where are you, buddy? Alright, that's kind of strange. We are tracking him. That's a little bit bizarre. Let's go back up to the security station and double check that we are actually tracking the guy. We should be. Um, let's also go one step further. Let's disable that. Um, now, he was from cargo, I believe. Yep. Ah, do we have to do this every, uh, uh, in the relevant area? Why did that come up? What the fuck was that? I could hear, hear knocking. Oh, well. We've lost his, um, lost the marker again. What is going on? Why is it doing that? Yeah. He's not actually showing up. That's frustrating. Am I doing something wrong? Because as soon as I leave that screen, it deselects. That didn't happen before. Um. Right, map. So what is going on here? Yeah, every time you select it and then it disappears. Why? It's 
See. You can select someone else and it's fine. But he doesn't stay active. Why is that? Alright, well, this is going to suck. It's Tobias. So he could literally be anywhere. Did he take his collar off? Could literally be bloody anywhere in this place. Right, so I'm assuming we're going to be looking for a vent or something that we must have overlooked. But it has to be in life support. We're just going to have to do area by area. I don't know if that is genuinely the way it's supposed to be or whether that's a bug. But it's a little bit. Oh, hello. A little bit frustrating nonetheless. Um, yeah, we read all that ages ago. There were a couple of people stuck up here, weren't there? Who were they? Yeah, if I remember, a couple of bodies. Let's go down. And up. I'm sure there were. There's no vents or anything up here. Let's use our upgrade kit. Now, is there anything... Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. I mean, we can get up here. We've already been here, though. Intriguing. Okay. There's no bodies around, is there? No. Um. All right. Well, who, who's here? Ooh. Somehow missed that before. See, this is water treatment. We don't need water treatment. Has to be life support. At least, I bloody hope it's life support. Yes, yes, yes. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Come on. I love a range on that now. Hmm. Turret is broken. That's fine. That can stay broken. I'm not going to continuously keep repairing these things. It's just a waste of resources. I'm sure there was a body up here that we found at one point. I'm sure there was. Yeah, I guess maybe not. Nothing that way. Hmm. Well, hopefully we'll run into him eventually. But I don't... I think we were pretty thorough with this area. Unless there's like a tiny little hatch somewhere that we may have missed. Which is absolutely possible. I think what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to run around, find him off camera, and when we come back, I will hopefully, yeah, yeah, there'll be one of those phantoms in here, won't there? I know one always spawns in here. Yep. Always spawn in here, don't you guys? There we go. Because you kept breaking my turret. And now you're going to fall off the edge. Really? Give me your stuff. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna go find him off camera, guys, and uh, I'll meet you back here in the next video when I have a better understanding of where this chap is. Because uh, at this point, he literally could be anywhere, like anywhere. That one doesn't open, does it? Or does it? It does open. There's nothing in there. You, uh, you failed, my friend. You failed. Ooh. Emily Carter. Hmm. Did we search here? Does anything respawn? Ah, look, the turret's actually there. Now the turret is useless against those electric guys. Which makes sense, I suppose. Now, there wasn't a body down here, was there? Thing is, I would know. I would kind of assume. And uh, I know assuming is not a great thing to do at the best of times. But I would assume if we already found him. Uh, it would flag that mission as automatically complete as soon as we find it. Unless his body doesn't like spawn. Until we have to find him. Maybe. But I find that a little bit unlikely as well. Uh, right guys. Anyway. When we come back. I would have found this chap. So. Until then. Thanks for watching.